super excited about today's video because I just ate a piece of what I'm making. It was so good. I'm so excited. I could cry. So in this video, I am so super excited because we are going to be making rice paper bacon. And if you could, if there was smell a vision and you could smell inside my apartment right now, you would smell how good it smells. So rice paper bacon, it's going to blow your mind. And you know, uh, if you're vegan or you're not vegan, obviously, like when I went vegan, I didn't go vegan because I didn't like the taste of what I was eating. And that bacony smell just smells like amazing. So we're going to make rice paper bacon today. And one of the things that I'd love to share with you about um, processed meat, which a lot of people don't realize it didn't really make a lot of the news, is that in 2015 the World Health Organization classified processed meats, which bacon is a processed meat, and like your Subway sandwich meats and all that kind of processed meat, they actually classified that type of meat as a class 1 carcinogen, which is just the same as cigarettes. So if you can eat this rice paper bacon instead, you will be avoiding eating a class 1 carcinogen slice of pig bacon. So anyway, I want to get started because at the very end I'm going to show you the stuff I already cooked and it's going to be so cool. So, for today's recipe, obviously, you're going to need your rice paper sheets. And I use the large ones, the small ones, I don't even know what you would do with them, but anyway, I have the large ones. And then, basically, we're going to cut them up and then put them in a marinade. So for the marinade, I'm going to use an oil, so I just have vegetable oil. Um, but canola oil would be great. Not too sure about olive oil. I would stick with like a veggie or canola oil. We're gonna use our good old tamari, which I'm almost out of that stuff, which is dangerous. And then soy sauce. And then we're also going to use liquid smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. So liquid smoke is a common ingredient and you can usually find it in a normal grocery store in like the barbecue sauce. Um, section but like even the small sort of less expensive grocery stores that I go to they have liquid smoke and then you also need a little bit of paprika which I'm also using smoked paprika, paprika. but if you only have regular paprika that's fine and then we're gonna use our good old maple syrup and then I have my nutritional yeast which is also in like every recipe that I make and then a little bit of black pepper so that is it. So we're going to put together the marinade now and then I'm going to show you how to actually put together the rice paper bacon sheets. So, and the hands, who else always gets their hands sticky with their maple syrup bottle even if you've like washed it off? It's still sticky. It's so crazy. Okay. So I already have some marinade in here that I made earlier but I'm going to add to it. So basically we're going to do two tablespoons of oil. Two. And I don't know any way to make this oil free, so two tablespoons of oil, and then two tablespoons of soy sauce, just like that, and then one tablespoon of the tamari. Ooh, I'm almost out of my tamari, it's so scary. I'll have to go and get some. Yikes. Okay, then what we're going to do is half a tablespoon of the maple syrup. Just like that. So, and then the, the liquid smoke, it's half a teaspoon, but I usually just do like four shakes into it. Because um, it's, it's actually pretty potent, but it tastes good. So that's all the liquid. So for anyone new joining, we're making rice paper bacon. So exciting, and this is the marinade. We've got the oil, tamari, soy sauce, maple syrup. That's the liquids and the liquid smoke. And then we're just gonna do a little shake of the smoked paprika. And then we're gonna do, it's a lot of this too, we're gonna do three tablespoons of the nutritional yeast. There you go. So when you do stir this, it is going to be sludgy, but that's what you want because this marinade is meant to stick 
to the rice paper. So you do want it sludgy. And this marinade is good too if you don't make all of it, if you have some left over. If you have any tofu, if you have any tempeh, you can cut that up and fry it up in here. I think I used something similar to this when I made the mac and cheese way back with the bacon crumble, the tofu bacon crumble. So you can kind of see it's pretty gelatinous. So that's what you're looking for. So that's our marinade. I'm going to throw all these out there. So now comes like the more tricky part is actually like putting together these strips. So we're going to get rid of this. And I lost, oh, there they are. So two big tips for you guys. You're going to need a plate of water. And I don't know anyone who has this superpower, but I cannot carry a plate of water from the sink without spilling it. So fill up your little plate with one of these. So that's my first tip. And then my second tip is to put a towel, I don't know if you can see, put a towel underneath your plate because no matter who you are, you're also going to spill some water here. So just fill it up without it overflowing. Awesome. So once you have your wet plate and your dry plate, and you're also going to need a pair of scissors, we can get started actually making the strips of bacon. So I don't have a lot of room here. So, so again, we're just using normal rice paper. You can get that pretty much at any grocery store as well. And then you're going to take two pieces and just put them together. And we're going to dip them in the water just to wet them um, and just to stick them together. So we're not soaking them so that they get soft, we're just sticking it together. Ah. And yeah, I think you guys can probably hear it's, pro it's raining pretty heavy outside right now. So just squish it around, make sure the water gets in between a little bit. So there you go. So you don't, again, you don't want it very wet at all. You just want it enough that it sticks together and you can cut it. So then we're going to have our dry plate ready. And we're just going to cut however thick of strips that you want. And try not to let them touch each other because they're going to stick, but you don't have to be too exact. I'm going to make these last two thick here. Alright, so now you've got your strips. And if any kind of pop out, see how this one's like popping out? Just wet your fingers and squish it back down. But it doesn't really matter. So there you go. So that's what your strips are going to look like. So then to cook them, you want to have a cookie tray with some parchment paper. If you don't have this little tray on top, that's fine. But I just pulled this out of, I think this is from an old toaster oven. So as long as you have like an oven safe little grill, put it on the parchment paper, or you can put your bacon strips right on the parchment paper. All right, so then let's take our first strip here and we're gonna place it in the marinade and get it all coated. So again, remember we made the marinade like really thick and chunky? It's because we want it to stick to this bacon. So this is not the cleanest thing. You'll see, ah, it's dripping. And then we're gonna place that over top of the grill like that. So let's do another one here. This one's kind of coming undone, but it'll all stick together in the end. Place that in there. And then again, don't wipe off the marinade, just drip it so you can have it nice and thick. Place it over. I'll just do a few more here. Actually, you can probably, if you have a nice big container, throw, throw a couple in there. Awesome. So again, you want it coating like all over the strips. I realize you guys probably can't see that very well. All right, let's get some on this guy. And then just let it drip just a tiny bit. It looks so gross right now, but it's so delicious. And it, and what you're looking for too, 
you know, if you're trying to go vegan and you miss that bacon flavors, you're missing that crunchy chewiness, which you're going to get out of the wet rice paper. And you're missing that savory, smoky flavor. So we have our tamari and our nutritional yeast giving you the savory, umami flavor. And then you have your liquid smoke. Alright. So that is finished over there. So, this is my experimental notes for cooking this stuff. So again, you want to have your strips on a grill if you can. It's way better. But you can grill it right on top of this. And then you want the parchment paper just to keep it clean. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. And then to cook it, you're going to put it in a preheat your oven to 400 degrees, what is it, Fahrenheit? Um, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you're going to cook them for six minutes. I'm going to put this in the description of my YouTube video so you can find it there later. So you're going to cook them for six minutes at 400. And then you're going to take them out and flip them and put them in for four minutes. And if you cook them six minutes and then flip in four, you're going to get like a soft, chewy bacon. And then if you want to have it crispier, you put it in for four minutes more. So we're at just over 10 minutes. So six minutes, flip four minutes for soft, another four minutes for crispy bacon, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Da, 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 da. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that made out of rice paper before? Maybe some of you have, but I'm sure it's a shocker. So I'm going to show you guys the differences. So the reason why I cook mine on that little grill is because they cook on both sides easily. But what's going to happen if you cook it on that grill, you're going to get that little, the bacon wave, right? So you're going to get that crispy bacon wave. So that's one of the reasons why I cook it on that little grill. So if you can see here, this piece of bacon here, you can see it's a little bit more well done. I actually cooked that one straight on the parchment paper so if you cook it straight on the parchment paper it's fine you still get like a cool piece of rice paper bacon um, but it will cook faster so watch so that it doesn't burn and then these two pieces here you can see these are the ones like i took out after the four minute flip so they're nice and bendy but they still have like their little bacon wave and then these ones you can see are not bendy and these are the ones that I put in for the four extra minutes so we've got our parchment paper one nice and crispy our two bendy ones and our two crispy ones but people this is delicious so that's the crispy one it broke right in half and I always like mine crispy before and then if you put that in a sandwich then you're not gonna get that like when you bite down into the sandwich, you're not going to get like the pull. But look, I can't describe the taste. Well, I could, but it's crazy. Mmm, so good. And what I discovered was I wrote down this entire recipe and I wrote down the nutrition facts. So we all know bacon, again, I taught you is the class one carcinogen. And obviously it's bacon, so it's fatty and all that stuff. So this entire recipe, that recipe of marinade will make about four double sheets of the rice paper. And the rice paper has only a few calories each. Um, so I actually didn't calculate that in here. So I'll add an ex a few extra calories, but each piece of bacon, if you do four and then you do six slices in each sort of sheet of rice paper these are only 12 calories each and only two grams of fat 12 calorie pieces of bacon it's amazing so here we have the soft one but that's it guys like i please try this recipe it is so cool how it turns out and you get a little bit of arts and crafts in there and then again, if you want to save your marinade, you could use it on some tempeh later. You could um, use it on tofu crumble later. So, mm -hmm. 
let me know in the comments if you're going to try this. And again, I'm going to post it on YouTube later. So make sure you go over there and watch the video again when you need the recipe and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Now I'm going to eat this whole plate. Like, I just got like a soft chewy piece and it's crazy. It's almost creeping me out. You got to try it. Bye. I'm waving at you with my bacon. Bye.